Hi, my name's Lynn Glacier and I'm going to show you today how to use the easiest rose ever cutter by FMM. Now it's great for beginners because it's really easy to use and it's brilliant for professionals because it makes fast roses. The great thing too is not only does it make beautiful roses in no time at all, it actually makes four different sizes of rose. So every rose on this wedding cake has been made just using this one cutter. So let's talk about what you need. Obviously the rose cutter, and then I'm going to use an FMM foam pad, dabber dust, which I filled with corn flour. You can use a ball tool or a small rolling pin for thinning the petals, and then you need a little bit of edible glue, and I like to use a non-stick board. Now talking about icings, you can actually use the cutter with marzipan, icing or modelling paste, but the best medium is to mix together equal quantities of sugar paste, sometimes called fondant, and modelling paste, some people call it gum paste. And the reason for this is because the sugar paste stays soft enough to let you work the petals, and the modelling paste firms the rose up so that you can put it on the cake without the roses or the rose petals breaking. So just take equal quantities of both icings and knead them together. So let's start with the small rose. I've already rolled the icing out to between one and two millimetres thick and just dab a little bit of corn flour on the board and your hands to stop the icing sticking. Press firmly down with the cutter and move it backwards and forwards and then just pull the excess icing away. I'm going to pop the icing out and bring the foam pad in because we're going to thin the rose petals. You can use a ball tool. I'm going to use a small rolling pin, the end of a small rolling pin, and I'm just thinning each petal, pressing quite firmly, just catching the edge of the icing and work all the way around. I think that looks about right. Take some edible glue and I'm painting a line just above the centre and fold the shape in half. Press down and I'm going to place some more edible glue along the icing so it sticks when we roll the rose up. Now start one end and this is going to be the centre of the rose so you need to roll it quite tightly just to begin with. So carefully start rolling. Stand it up on the pad or your work surface and then continue rolling. But now I'm going to start shaping the petals and I just want to turn the edges over so the petals look like they're unfolding. And continue all the way around. like so, and there you have your small rose. Now to make a medium rose, I'm just going to put another layer of petals onto the small rose. So I've got my shape cut out and I'm going to thin the rose petal edges again. I'm doing exactly the same as I did before, like so. Brush a line of glue fold over and another line of glue. Now take your small rose, overlap where you finish the last petal and just continue folding the petals around. Again as you go, as you put the petals on, just start to fold them at the edges so they look like they're uncurling around the rose. Sometimes you need to put a tiny bit of glue on the last petal and then you can shape your petals. Now I'm going to carry on and show you how to make the large rose because it's just another set of petals. Thin the edges.
start where your last petal is and put the last layer of petals around. And there you have your large rose. To make the rosebud, we're going to use just part of the cutter. So count along two petals each side and cut the shape at an angle. Then it's back to thinning the petals. Line of glue, fold it in half another line of glue and we're going to fold it starting at this end which is the center of the bud so it has to be really tight so this is where you have to be a little bit careful then stand it up and continue rolling and there you have your bud now what you can do is just bring in the other piece of icing and make a slightly larger bud in exactly the same way using that. I'm going to finish this beautiful cascade of roses. Make sure you've left your roses overnight to harden and then all you need to do is just cut the back, the base of the rose at the relevant height and angle. Now because I've got sugar paste in this mix it cuts nice and easy and then to attach them to the cake I'm just going to brush some edible glue onto the rose and pop it into place. I'm going to do one more rosebud. Cut the back at an angle, some edible glue and I'll just pop that one in as well. So as you can see, this really is the easiest rose cutter ever and it comes with full step-by-step -step instructions and illustrations on the packaging. Thank you for watching.